Now we're on 9-6. Problem solving, find a rule. Now 9-6 looks very similar to the lesson 9-5. The only difference is when they're asking you to uh, about the rule, there's no sentence frame. Um, the second difference is that, as you can see, it goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then all of a sudden 12. Same with here. It goes 1, 2, 3. Instead of going 4, it goes to 5, 10, and 15. So the two main differences in this lesson compared to the one before it is the fact that there's no sentence frame for the rule and there's no pattern necessarily for the X's themselves where it goes 1, 2, 3 and instead of going 4 it goes to 5, 10, 15. It skips and this one goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and jumps all the way to 12. So the X's um, are skipping as well as having no sentence frame. That being said, let's try to solve it in the same way that we did the other. Faye buys 15 shirts, which is why this ends at 15. This is the number of t-shirts. She buys 15 t-shirts, and that's our x. This is our x. So she buys 15 t-shirts, which is why it ends there, which are on sale for $3 each. So if you buy one shirt, it costs $3. How much money does Faye spend? What they did was they started a simple pattern. One shirt is $3, two shirts is $6, three shirts is $9. From there, what would our pattern be so we could find 15? Um, our Y is the cost, the amount spent. And so we have our X and our Y. And it's very imperative, it's very important that we um, map this out with labels. So this is our X going to our Y. Our X is our number of t-shirts. And our Y is the amount spent. And this is in US dollars. So if you buy one t-shirt, you spend $3. If you do, get two t-shirts, you spend $6, three t-shirts, $9. So how much would it be for five, 10, and eventually 15? Because 15 is what the actual asking is. So how do we get from one to three? Um, that also works for this. If you say one plus two equals three, two plus two would equal four, so that wouldn't be true. So we're going to increase, but we're not going to add. Instead, we're going to multiply. 1 times 3 equals 3. Let's see if the next one works. 2 times 3 equals 6. 3 times 3 equals 9. And because it worked for all of these, that is the pattern. Because it's the thing that works for all of them. 5 times 3 is 15. 10 times 3 is 30. And 15 times 3 is, if you don't know that, you could do it on the side. Some of you might know that math fact. Others of you might have to write it out. There's no shame in writing it out to show you work. 15 times three is 45. And so you could finish up this chart by going one, three, two, six, three, nine, and from here, five, 15, because five times three is 15, 10, 30, because 10 times three is 30, and 1545. Now they're asking how much does do they does Faye spend to buy 15 t-shirts? We know that the answer is she spends $45. So the total amount Faye spends is $45. But when they ask for the rule, the reason why they say possible rule is that I'm going to show you how to do two sentence frames in the, in essence. Um I don't actually love their answer, and so we're going to make one um, that's more specific than theirs. There are two different rules that you could come up with. You could either go from your X to your Y or from your Y to your X. Now they went from X to the Y. What you would do is you multiply the number of t-shirts by three to find the amount spent. And so what I don't like about theirs is they don't finish the rule. Here you could see that there's a multiplication sign multiply, and here's our x, the number of t-shirts by three 
And what I'd want you to add is why would you do that? To find the amount spent. I know that's a little messy. That should say amount. A M O N T. O U N T. Ooh, I my U. Um, so you're going from here to here. Here's your X, your t-shirts. Multiply the amount, the number of t-shirts by three to find the amount spent. The other way you could do it is you could do, if you're going this way, you're gonna do the opposite. So what's the opposite? The inverse of multiplication, division. So you could do, take the amount spent, divide by three to find the number of t-shirts. So you could divide three by the amount spent to find the number of t-shirts. Um, and we're going to do this a little bit more in class. If at least you understand the one that makes sense, the multiplying one, because we're going from x to y, you could keep that rule for now. Um, if you want to have two answers, you could say multiply the number of t-shirts by three to find the number of money spent. Or you could say divide the amount spent by three to find the number of t-shirts. So if you want to switch these two, put the amount spent here and the t-shirts here, you'll do the inverse. Instead of multiplying by three, you'll divide by three. Number two will be done the same way. And although I won't solve it for you, I will start you off. The Gilman, the Gilman family joins a fitness center. They pay $35 per month. By the 12th month, how much money will the Gilman family have spent? So each month, month one, it's $35. Month two, it's now $70. What would it be for three months, four months, five months, and 12 months? Here's our X and here's our Y. Don't forget your X goes here, your Y goes here, and it's imperative that you label this. Imperative meaning it's really important. X is your number of months. Y is the total amount of money spent. Now, in US dollars. For the first month, month one, it costs 35. Month two, it costs 70. You're doing it for 3, 4, 5, and 12. So find your rule here. It's getting larger, so you're either going to multiply or you're going to add. And make sure that if you do it for here, it works for this one. And then you could solve this, 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 all the way until you get to 12. <coughs> Ooh, bless me. Um, after you solve that, make sure to find your possible rule by using these to help you. Whatever you did here, whether you added something, you multiplied, you divided, what did you do here? You added five, subtracted five, multiplied five by the number of months to find the total amount of money spent. So that's how you're gonna find your rule. You're gonna do whatever this rule is here, that by the number of months to find the total amount of money spent. Okay, I hope that this helps and if not, um, feel free to leave some comments or ask during class and we can clarify a little more. Have a good day.